Welcome to Jenny's Horse Product Review. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and go check out my website at jennyshorseproductreview.com. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of my horse trailer. It is a 2014 Gore 2 Plus 1. It has an electric jack on the front, which is really nice. You can see the spare tire there. And we are just parked in camp here. I wanted to make the video while we were horse camping. This door goes right into the main horse area. Um, coming around the back, you can see that it is a ramp load style trailer. Um, you can see it has a ton of windows. And we're coming around to the side where you can see we also have a ramp. The cool thing about this trailer is it's a two plus one. You can load horses in from the side or from the back. You can walk them all the way through. And basically it means that there is a box stall up front and in the back, it's configured like a two horse straight load. Um, right now I have the divider removed in the back, so I just have it configured as two box stalls because when we're doing long distance traveling, I'm talking long hours, six, eight or more hours on the road, I like my horses to have as much room as possible to be comfortable, so I have it set up as two box stalls. Um, you can see in here, uh, when I'm in camp, I just sweep all the shavings into this back stall so we can stage kind of the front stall um, if we need to put anything in there. It does have a fiberglass roof that keeps it a lot cooler in the summertime. It has roof vents as well. This is a steel frame trailer with an aluminum skin and a wooden floor. Um, I love that for safety, um, durability. I appreciate a wooden floor, which you can replace boards as needed. Um, and just keep an eye on them. I know people prefer aluminum. I think the wood floor is cooler, sturdier. That's my choice personally, and I have no problem maintaining it and keeping a good eye on them. As you can see, there are lights, vents in the roof, very nice option. This trailer is so cool with the fiberglass roof, all the windows for ventilation, just a ton of air circulation in here. I'm not worried about ammonia buildup or anything. And you can see we do have that door on the side where you can get into this area without putting a ramp down. And you can also see we have a door straight through the tack room, um, which is also really nice to come and check on your horses if they're in here for whatever reason and you don't wanna come through the side door. So we'll take you into the tack room as you can see, we have um, our bed set up. We have some built-in storage on the side and the top. You can see we have the top roof vent. Um, we did have this um, insulated by professionals and also wired so that when we're ready, we can get an air conditioning unit for the top. Um, just being insulated makes it a ton cooler and warmer when it needs to be. We got it wired for electricity. Um, it does have that really nice boot box. And as you can see, I've got just some essential items, my horse first aid kit. Um, my guitar is with me for camping. We have our fire extinguisher, other kind of things hanging up here. And this is basically how we live in camp. Um, and you can see we've got plenty of room for the essentials and what we need. This is the sleeping area. I do have blackout curtains that I have just kind of raised up now, and those are just on curtain rods on command hooks. So you can see here we also have a screen door that goes um, right into camp. And this is not a bad place to uh, sleep in horse camp. Uh, when we first started horse camping, we were in tents beside our two horse trailer, so we have certainly um, moved up in the world as far as horse trailers and camping rigs go. You can see we also keep all of our tack on like a rolling tack cart, so we can just roll that right um, down the ramp. When we're here, we have hay storage right under the gooseneck, and this is basically our setup in camp. We really love this trailer. Um, this is a dream trailer, and I can't imagine having a better setup, especially for long distance travel. We have had to make several cross country moves, and there's nothing like unloading your horse at the end of the day 
and seeing them step off the trailer fresh because they've had the chance to move around, get comfortable, and find a position that they want to ride in. Um, and oftentimes we're finding that they like to ride backwards. So, you know, on shorter trips, we have used the um, two horse divider and we would just straight load them in for short in town trips or day trail rides. Um, but for these long distance trips, it really does make all the difference in the world having this room for them, essentially a box stall. And they're more likely to drink water and eat and get comfortable in there and really have a good trip. So I can't say enough nice things about the two plus one. We originally got it when we had three horses and I really wanted my senior Morgan Gelding to have the option of a box stall. This is important, especially when you have a senior horse because it's really tough on them to be standing still for six, eight hours, 10 hours at a time. Even if you plan to unload them places, it can be very difficult to find safe places to unload your horses on the road. It can add hours to your trip and We've done a two week cross country trip, um, like 2,500 miles, and I've had my horses not lose any weight at all, and my senior arthritic gelding not stiff, not lame at all, and ready to go riding and feeling fresh getting off the trailer, so nothing feels better than that. And I just can't say enough nice things about this trailer. If you're somebody that does long distance travel, or you have a performance horse or a senior horse or any horse that you want to be as fresh as possible off the trailer, I cannot recommend um, Gore's 2 plus 1 or any 2 plus 1 enough. Again, the things that I like about Gore, that you get the fiberglass roof and the wooden floor, I think that that also contributes to this being a much cooler trailer. Um, incredible amount of ventilation makes this a great trailer to tow your horses in. If you found this video helpful, um, like it. Let me know in the comments what kind of trailer you're hauling in or what your dream trailer is. I can't wait to hear about it. And subscribe to the channel. Until next time, happy trails.